How are we doing, guys? We are back again. It's your favourite weekly show with these pair of legends. Elena will be joining us in a second as well, before the whistle blows, to go through this weekend's Premier League action. So, how how are we, my friends? Oh, I'm delighted Elena's not here, so I've uh, got a chance to actually get a few words in. I'm going to soak <laughs> this up, get as many as I can in. Uh, you are right there, Joe? Yeah, I was just closing window, mate. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't want cars to interrupt you, buddy. Sorry, my bad. Oh, sorry, it's fine. Uh, I quite like the lack of professionalism. We were late as well to our own party, which is good. I'm, I'm absorbing all of this as a radio broadcaster who was once described by my boss as capable. I am. Uh, I'm, I'm pleased to be amongst similar company. Nice, nice. Do you know what? I've missed you all. I'm not going to lie. Um, it's it's a great show and it's a staple show that I look forward to and I know a few people have as well. We had a few messages last week saying, where's before the whistle blows? I was like, we, we are playing a game of football, unfortunately. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, uh, it's great to have you all back. I'm buzzing. It's, it's on. Looking forward to it. A great show, as always, Oscar. Yeah, I no, absolutely. Me, but I just jumped in. <laughs> <laughs> right, locks. I know of... <laughs> Anyway, right, locks. <laughs> right, locks. Obviously, disappointing um, night last night, but you join with us. You know, cheer you up straight away, won't it? You know, join with us. You know, you're back, you know, it's one of those things. How are you doing, mate? Yeah, not bad, mate. I mean, I can rip these uh, Europa League badges off, Ooh. and uh, Ooh, that's so a shocker, right. that mate. Well, that's a shocker you know, getting the Europa League badge on there. Well, <laughs> <in a few laughs> that's a shocker, oh. that mate. <laughs> Uh, wow. In a few months, I can replace... Have you got the full with... kit on? Got the boots and shin pads on. Hey, someone bought this for me, thanks. Someone bought this for me. But uh, in a few months, I can replace them with the, the Champions League one, so it'll be all good. Corey's just looking with envy, yeah. thinking, hey, I might be able to get one of them on my arms. Yeah, I'll tell you <laughs> what, I'm going to get it printed and ironed on. It's going to be that or the Europa League or the Conference League. You never know. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> Um, Europe, yeah. Europe next season is is looking is looking nearly likely, but I say nearly because knowing West Ham will drop out of it. But I'm feeling confident. But um, yeah, no, you, you don't mean to talk about Europa League, Corey. You Champions League, mate. Champions League, ah, top come four. On. Come, on. come on, come on. Well, we've got you lot next week, so that'll be a nice free oh, well, points to get under our belt, oh, and then we'll be. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know about that, mate. I don't, I don't know about that. I'm not sure. Um, right, before we get on with this, then, guys, um, make sure you check out our fantastic sponsors, which you'll see there in the top left hand corner. Football prizes, some fantastic stuff on offer this week, guys. So make sure you get on it. Let's first of all go to um, for any Tottenham fans watching, of course, Elena will be with us in a second. A signed and framed. Um, match worn Lucas Mora boots. Get on it, guys. Obviously, Lucas Mora, the hero of the um, Champions League semi final, scoring a hat trick um, from that night in Amsterdam. Absolute um, hero for Tottenham. 745 um, tickets is the cost there. 99 tickets available. Competition ends on Monday. Make sure you check that one out, guys. And for the Leeds fans in the audience tonight, what about this? What about this? Patrick Manford signed and framed, and look at that behind it as well. Lovely little montage behind it of the best striker in the Premier League. I don't care if you say Harry Kane. This man, Patrick Bamford, is going to take England to European Championship glory in the summer. In England as well, hopefully, with full stadium to, on show. Make sure you get on this one. Our absolute goal scoring sensation. 13 goals already. He's going to hit the 20. 4 95 a ticket, 99 tickets available, and the competition ends soon. So, guys, let's have a look into this weekend's games. This weekend's games, and it's not just those two, by the way, plenty of other stuff on offer at Football Prizes. So, if you're not a Leeds fan, not a Tottenham fan, you're just a football fan in general, check out Football Prizes. A bit of everything, guys. You know, I've, I've, got, I've got my eyes on some of the Lionel Messi merchandise, I'm not going to lie. Some, some good, uh, well, well, you know, it's. Um, I've got a thing, really. I've got like ten different, you know, ten different things on, on the go, you know, in terms of Lionel Messi. But um, we'll we'll, we'll, we'll make sure on that. Who who's a football fan in general? What do you mean? Like someone turn up with a scarf saying "Go football." No, just with... support like. Oh, I, don't, don't, I just don't hope that like... both teams have a great time. And no one gets hurt, and the fans <laughs> no, after no, can wait. right shake hands. Just and count. whoever's got the, whoever's oi, got the clean oi. boot, oh, he's kicking off. <laughs> right before you start something, right? <laughs> you watch? Do you watch Champions League, for example? To be honest, I'm actually having a go because you picked on locks. 
And uh, I thought, and Lox is now my best buddy, so uh, I'm just helping him out. Oh, okay, right. So, there is uh, a market, though, isn't there? There's half and half scarves. I mean, whoever buys them, I don't know. But I'm not scarves. saying half and half scarves. I'm not putting words into my mouth. Right, if you watch the Champions League, say if you're watching, I don't know, PSG versus Real Madrid, that's for me is what a general football fan is. You know, you appreciate them very good footballers on the pitch. I'm not saying have half and half scarves and say, go PSG, go Real Madrid. It's great whoever wins the game. I'm not saying that. I mean, just you just check. did say you just did say that. Also, uh, Oscar, just check Oscar. football prices out, guys. Check them out. Yeah, check do, them do. Out. Trouble with Arsenal, Oscar. They try and walk the ball in the net, don't they? I didn't mention Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, right. We will move on from uh, from from whatever. Hal was saying something witty there, and I didn't quite get onto the same wavelength as usual. But um, we will go. At, we will get into it, guys. We will get into it. So. First game I want to look at is Manchester City versus, oh. well, top four chasing um, West Ham United. I mean, logically, you look at this game, um, I mean, the form City are in. I don't know. I, I think West Ham, Michael Antonio in this form, Zuchek on the old set pieces and just in general. I mean, do you feel, do you feel like West Ham could be the team to break City's run to extent, considering they played midweek as well? Um or, I hope so. I mean, they're unbelievable, aren't they? They're just different level. Um, if a team's going to... like Listen, against Sheffield United, against Tottenham, we didn't play brilliantly, but we still won. So, I mean, you look at Man City, possibly set pieces in there. Um, maybe we are the team to get... If we nick a set piece, it'll be low block central for us. We'll be behind the ball, I imagine. But, but like you say, we can get Lingard forward as well. He's in some cracking form. Jarrod Bowen, and Antonio then... Try and test them. Everton got a goal against them and they committed men forward at the right time. So if that's West Ham's game plan, then then maybe. But listen, mate, I've got to be honest, it's <laughs> probably the toughest. Is that the level we're going for now? Everton got a goal against them. <laughs> Is that the level? Not get a result. But, 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 got a goal but, but, against but, them. But I, but I just want to see cracks because they're so good. Like I just want to see something. And you feel like West Ham, maybe, if we can nick a goal, but then you've got to stay behind that ball for however long. So I don't want to get one too early if we do. And then we're just sitting behind the ball and they're all over us and the boy. And I think midweek they changed it up a little bit, but their squad's unreal. They've got the best squad depth by far in like Europe, probably. So, yeah, not feeling great. I'm just, I'm just let's get this game done and over with and then we'll look at the next few and then and then we'll see. I mean, Locks, obviously, you'll probably have a keen eye on this game as well, with West Ham being top four challenges at this moment in time. I mean, how do you see it going? Yeah, I mean, I'm not. I'm not looking down at West Ham. To be fair, I'm, I'm looking up at Man City. Obviously, I, I don't think. I don't think we'll. We'll. You know, I don't think we can win the league. I think Man City are just going to steamroll their way through now to the title. If I'm honest, uh, I would love West Ham to to do a job on them. Um, not just because we're, you know, we're behind. We're behind Man City, but just because I don't really like Man City. Um, and I think West Ham have. You know, West Ham have kind of stole the hearts of some football fans this season. Obviously, you know, I mean, we love a, we love an underdog, don't we? We all love an underdog. Um, so, yeah, I think look, they've been quality this season. Um, obviously, Lingard as well, since he's joined, has been remarkable. You know, kind of revitalising his career. But I just can't see Man City slipping up. I think, like I said, I think they're going to steamroll now all the way through. Um, I, I can't see anything really from West Ham against Man City. Well, we've got our friend, um, <laughs> our, um, our good friend, to be fair, Ram Rav, to be fair. He's, um, he, well, he's having a bit of a pop there. I mean, well, I'm not sure if it's a pop. I think it's just... Well, he's I a Man United just, fan, isn't he? I think he's yeah, just man. talking rubbish, to be honest with you. I mean... But you know what, Corey, having that, though, like a Leicester, a Leicester, Leicester fan saying the underdog West Ham... I mean, well, we, we beat him 3 0 earlier in the season, so it's not mm. we're not really underdogs here. I, I, I'll be interested to see how we. I think Leicester, we could give them a real game in, in the next couple of weeks, but obviously they're they're in form, so it'll, it'll be a tough one. I think people write off West Ham in general, like people are still mm. banging on about Everton getting Europe, and they've been more inconsistent than us. Aston Villa, again, another one that everyone bangs on about. But again, we beat twice, so it's like I'm just used to it at the minute. But we'll just slip under the radar and, and keep picking up results. Guys, keep smashing that like button as well. We're almost on 200 live viewers on this one. How, I mean, do you see anything other than a fairly routine City win going into this one? Well, it's interesting that Corey has a, a slight little dig. He doesn't need to mention the Sheffield United result when previewing <laughs> this game. And Corey, I've still never received a thank you from you. 
I went on your channel. I threw yeah. myself under the bus. I was really horrible to you and your disgusting <laughs> fans and your dreadful channel. And I got nothing back, and I helped you get thousands of views. <laughs> and, I, and I got a lot of grief. You, you read did. those comments. Yeah. I got a lot of hate. And it I carried can't, on to my I can't Twitter. see why. I can't see why you'd get a lot of hate what, to be fair now. It was the funniest thing. I, he just knew what he was doing. He just come on there, slate them all, and they were just they just went absolutely feral. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, cheers, wow. cheers, Hal. <laughs> yeah, if you want to watch the video and maybe stick up for your pal Hal, uh, that would be appreciated, <laughs> all of you. Uh, also, Corey would like that because, you know, more views. So uh, it's the West Ham way. We're the Sheffield United way. Which one came first? <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually know the answer. I don't know. Mate. I, don't know mate. I, I, just, I don't know either. <laughs> I don't. It's probably Corey's. Uh, but Oscar, to answer your question, it's a good thing you've got me on this year and not last year for one reason and one reason only. It came up on my Facebook memories at this time last year. I had a dreadful cold, and it was the last time I was actually ill because, of course, we've all been you know in the house. And had I been on this time last year, you'd have to have taken me off because my voice might have been too sexy. <laughs> it would have been it was dangerous this would have been given an <laughs> dangerously r rating. sexy da dangerously sexy r rating all the way very very nasty cold anyway i hope that answers your question <laughs> but i would have thought an alpha male like you how wouldn't even get cold you just fight yeah. them off you just fight Oscar, them off you even get Oscar, there. when you're talking to me it's a alpha male <laughs> oh no! They took me a good bit of and done that. I think, uh, mate. I think. Um, anyway, right. Um, I mean, for me, Joe, I look at City, and the mad thing about them is they actually don't score that many goals, considering how good they are. Do you think if West Ham do sit, set up the right way, they could potentially frustrate them? Yeah, I think they could frustrate them. Whether or not they'll they'll win the game, it's, it's a different thing, but. Second in the form table, West Ham, right? I think that's mental when you think about it. Like, so fair play to David Moyes because I remember speaking to Corey at the start of the season and he didn't give him a cat in hell's chance kind of thing, you know. And, and look where they are now, you know. And we've been here before, you know. We all said like Leicester would drop off at some point in the year, they won the title. And uh, what I people like you say, people are disregarding West Ham now and. Who knows? They might still be there or thereabouts, man. Come the end, uh, come the end of the season, and it'd be amazing for them if, if it did happen. Um, but but City just flying, aren't they? Nineteen wins on the bounce. Like I just I, I just I think they're at full strength as well. Like to, I think KDB, um, how he fits in, I'm not so sure. I know you've got a few thoughts on it, Oscar. I seen your tweets the other day. You know. Uh, it's hard, isn't it, though? It's going to be hard to get KDB yeah. back in there. It is a case of who... It, there's no obvious player saying, isn't performing, who do you take out? It's probably yeah. going to be Mares, I'd imagine. Probably Mares. But we are joined by Elena. Hi. How are you doing, Elena? Oh, yeah. I'm good. I'm good. Sorry, I literally ran in and I'm here. So, hi. How was good? Well done. Oh, it was it, it was good. It was long but good. You know, trying to get everything ready, COVID friendly. You know. Elena, uh, I love how you sent us on our WhatsApp group uh, a voice recording when you realised we are actually doing this. So, so, so none of us say, could have listened to it. No, no, no. What what I was saying was, can someone DM me the link to make the process quicker? But don't worry, I did mm. it myself. Mm. Yeah, I'd have written that out. Uh, can I also guess your job that you've been at? Are you an English literature teacher? <laughs> Definitely not. Um, I, I, I'm a nanny, and I, I like, I, I get, I look after two year olds. So okay, I didn't actually want to really know because now I feel bad. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say when she said that. <laughs> yeah. I was just joking about your appalling grammar, and now I feel slightly awful. No, Maybe I how? I don't have to teach job. grammar to two year olds. No. <laughs> so okay. Maybe how? You should just maybe just just be a bit nicer. That's that might that's well, be something, you know. I'm going cons to consider, consider that, Oscar, but with the season my club have had, I'm not actually in a very good mood. Yeah. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. But, um, but, Corey, obviously West Ham had a, uh, had a good result last time out, didn't they, to be fair? Um, yeah. I mean... Great, so we're here ready. I do <laughs> is that what we're, we're jumping into? <laughs> well, yeah, we're top four contenders, so why not? <laughs> do you know what I mean? 
I love Corey's change of attitude. Oh, it's unreal. Like, watch the first few videos. New guy. Listen, New guy. I've got a bit, it, it could all go downhill next season, so I'm just enjoying it for what I last. <laughs> knowing West Ham will be 13th. You expect it to last all season as well. Look at these lot. <laughs> you're you're, 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 you're mid table. Leeds, Leeds are going to leapfrog you next week. Honestly, yeah. they're going to go manager, right above no. you. Do I like my manager? No. So it's fine. I'm, I'm being a realist here. But still, this is what this guy's done. Allowing West Ham to be top. No, he didn't allow we anything. Nice. We're, we're quality. We've lost once in two months. Once. Yes. This is so, good coaching, you see? this mm -hmm. is They don't have a much better squad than we do. This is what good coaching can do. But you've got Harry Kane. And Son. Yeah, exactly. And Bale. Got, and, exact, exactly. You're, you're proving all my points. Mm. Like, and, you're, and, you're, like and you're nine you're points below us. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You've got Ndombele. He's got we've a team. We've got we've got one recognised <laughs> one recognised striker, one backup what, Mark Noble. Corey's face is saying, saying this is the funniest. You lot you, you lot are saying words that I need to say. Literally, I think so saying to Corey that, 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 you, that you've Dombele let West Ham home. get above yeah. them is probably riled them a little. That was the one. Mm -hmm. Don't say it's that. True, we have though. He no, just you have it. The... You're poor. You're poor. You're terrible. You're not good you at all. You named all the players saying we're quality, and then and then uh, so that's proving my point. We allowed you to get above us because you. But how have you done players. it? How have you got Harry we Kane, the the one of the best coach. strikers in the world, and you're ninth in the Premier League? I love exactly. it. Right. Who is the problem? <laughs> Tell me who the problem is. We all know it here. We all know who the problem is here. Can you, uh, Ben Davis? Davis. Yeah. <laughs> oh, actually, yeah. He's part of it. Eric Dyer is quite good, isn't he? Do you remember when everyone said Eric Dyer should be ahead of Declan Rice? Right, let's England just too? move on. Let's move on a second. <laughs> right, we'll, we'll get into Tottenham bashing. I have to yeah. apologise to the Spurs fan base because I didn't like Dyer. Well, also, because you're allowing West Ham to go above you, could you allow <laughs> uh, Sheffield United to get out of the relegation zone? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe if we don't make... If, if we can stay where we are, this is... This is terrible. We, we we have to get rid of him. But yeah, we probably will allow you, to be fair. We'll probably lose every game from now. Lying. We'll probably win every game and then we'll keep him next season. And then it will be a toxic situation. Anyway, you don't move on. <laughs> right, let's get some predictions. Um, City, City versus West Ham. Right. Joe, what are you saying? 2-1, City. Corey? I see that little smile. I see that little smile. Uh... I'll go one all. Come on, West Ham. Locks? 2 0. 2 0, Man City. How? Uh, nil one. West Ham are going to nick it late on after being absolutely battered for the whole game by City, but they're not going to score. So, yeah, West Ham will nick it. And they'll, I think they'll finish in uh, European, European place. I'm not going to stick my head on the mast of which one, though. Maybe Champions League, maybe Europa League. Do you realise how many games City have gone unbeaten? That's why it's a shock. Remember, if I get it right, everyone will go, that idiot, I can't remember his name. He got that, <laughs> he got that right when everyone else just said it's a routine Manchester City victory and one draw. Elena, what are you saying? City, West Ham? Um, I, I think 3-0 City. They're just too good. They're just, they're just too good right now. And I, I, I would love them to just, you know, put these lot back where they should be. So, yeah. City, just do the job that we couldn't do, please, because you've got a good coach and we don't. Anyway, moving on. Corey's fuming. Corey's oh, they lost 3-0 last time. Said. He's only said that, so it's like evening it up a bit. You see him switch, don't you? He just switches. He's def definitely seen it. I've seen a scary personality of Corey, to be fair, the last couple of weeks. Scary personality switch. Now they're up there. No, it's, the it's the disrespect is too much. I when we have when we I hope you never win the lottery, Corey, because you, you will change, man, if you won the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, um, sorry, some of us are used to it, innit? <laughs> right, anyway, I'm going to go 1-0 go to City. Right, um, next game, next game. Um, we are looking at we are looking at Leicester versus Arsenal. So, obviously, I'll go to you first, Locks. Do you think for your league campaign now... Obviously, you're out of the Europa League. Do you think that's going to help your top four push? Less games, less less risk of injury, fatigue. Do you think it's going to benefit you in the long run, possibly? Well, yeah. I mean, it can only it can only um, impact it in, in a positive way, I suppose. Obviously, it's, it's less games. Um, we're in the FA Cup. We've got Man United in, in a couple of weeks, but uh, I don't see us going very far in that either. I think 
Roger, our, our last few managers, they've always prioritised the league over, over any cup competition. You know, last night we, we didn't start Barnes. Barnes was on the bench. Castagna, Ricardo, they were all on the bench. Um, Vardy was playing, though, but we had no option because because Kelechi and Nacho were suspended. So, yeah, it, it, it was a weakened side and he got a lot of stick for it pre-match and, and post-match, Rogers did. But I think, you know, after the game, he did say his, his focus was the Premier League. And I think, you know, we're going to have to go and win the game on Sunday. You know, um, obviously he rested those players for a reason last night and um, he's got to show that it was the right decision that he made. Um, Madison's, you know, Madison's injured now for a few. I mean, it's just injury after injury. We just don't moan about it like Liverpool fans do, or you know, don't moan about it as much as Liverpool fans. Um, but I mean, we've what? had nearly There's no every... Liverpool fans on this. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm not digging they anyone out. I'm just saying. Lot, <laughs> just well, I think that. we've lost uh, besides Casper Schmeichel and Harvey Barnes. We've lost every single player in our starting eleven at some point in the season. Um, and this is like Madison's second spell out. And last night you could tell the. The lack of quality, uh, the lack of creativity was was shocking, really. So, yeah, I think you know it's going to be difficult without Madders, but we've done it before without him. I think Vardy loves a goal against Arsenal. Um, mm-hmm. I think he's got twelve goals in ten games against them, so he pretty much scores every game uh, against, against Arsenal home and away. Um, and I think you know it, it'll, he's been a bit off form since his his operation, his injury, and his knocks. And uh, I think it's a perfect game, you know, for him to try and get back on form. I mean, Corey, you look at this game, obviously, from a West Ham fan point of view. Obviously, it's unlikely now, very unlikely Arsenal are going to make top four or even European football at this rate. I mean, do you see Arsenal doing you a favour, though, maybe in this one? You know, considering, you know, obviously, we've got Saka in the form he's in. Obviously, he's capable of winning games. Aubameyang's starting to chip in with goals. Do you see how... The weird thing is, you know, how things have changed in the last sort of three or four years. Leicester feel like strong favourites going into this, like strong favourites kind of thing. And... Do you see it? Do you see any kind of shock happening here at all with Arsenal you know, pulling pulling out a performance? Um, to be honest, I, I can't see. I think Leicester will be too strong, and like Locke's touched on, if it's their strongest, if it's their fixture that they need to go out, and Rodgers is saying about Champions League, then they'll go out and do really, really well. But I watched Arsenal last night against Benfica. They're not a great side at all. They Saka digs them out of a lot of holes. Aubameyang as well. You know, having a couple of, and you forget Arsenal have fallen from such a height that they've got a few of those players in there where you think should be in the Champions League and it's still a transition period. If they get Partey on the pitch, which is a massive if, then maybe they could compete. Arsenal aren't bad, but then when you watch them, they get to the final third and all of a sudden it's just about possession with Arteta. So it might suit Leicester more, but Leicester, in theory, if you can get Madison and Vardy and, and Tielemans on there, you, you should be way too strong for them and, and they'll be going for it. There's been a bit of talk as well today. Um, I think from like the City side of things, I saw a couple of things from City about them looking at Saka, potentially get to get Sterling and Saka out wide in their team. Um, I mean, what would you think to that, Hal? Do you think Saka's good enough to make the step up to like the, the best team in England at this moment in time? Oh, Oscar, the thing about Arsenal is they always try and walk it in. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think that he would be a really good addition. I think he's quality Saka. I'd like him to stay at Arsenal because he's he's an Arsenal boy, he's an Arsenal fan. I always like it when no, players no, that have, we don't need is, that. What? Well, he is, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he to stay. I said, you you said even... you'd like him to stay. I'm saying no, no, we don't need that. Well, I think that would be great. I love it when players come up from their I, own I'd youth like system and stay. A side of North London, so. Right. You would actually take it. Actually, I don't know why I'm going to ask you a question because I won't get the, the mic back for a long time. Uh, <laughs> although I am quite interested. Would you at Tottenham want an Arsenal player? Sorry, Oscar, I'm not taking over hosting duties here. I think there's basically six hosts in tonight. Um, yes, I would. I would take him because he's brilliant. So, yeah. Oh, no one the was, oh, no was going to say, <laughs> wow, that was a very short answer. And then uh, <laughs> and you didn't speak, so then I carried on. <laughs> Go on. I'm finished. <laughs> <laughs> I have literally never heard a woman say that to me in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I, think I can't. I actually can't. <laughs> <laughs> Oscar, <laughs> right. Um, thanks for that, Hal. That was uh, that was okay. lovely. That was lovely. Um, but I mean, Elena, Obviously, if Saka does go to City, it helps you in terms of keeping Kane or Son from possibly 
going over going over to Manchester. Yeah, I'd hope that Kane wouldn't go to another like um, Premier League club. I just would hope he'd go abroad if he's going to move because I just feel like. Well, you City, you know, man. He, yeah. Uh, I, I can see it because why wouldn't you? You're going to win the Premier League. But mm. I just would like to think he's got some loyalty. I mean, he has got loyalty. I'm not. He's been here how long and he hasn't won anything. But if I just don't want him to go to a Premier League club. And Son, I wouldn't. I wouldn't expect him to go. But also, I don't think he's. You know, he hasn't got the, as much stigma on him as much as Kane does to stay. But um, I feel like one of them is definitely going this. Uh, like this window coming, I don't think we'll be able to keep them both, if not both of them. Uh, hopefully not to a Premier League club, but I can understand City coming in for them and them going, to be fair. I got over Bale leaving for Real Madrid. I'm sure I can get over this as well. Fair enough, fair enough. I mean, Joe, do you give Arsenal any hope here at Leicester away? No, I think they're rubbish. Um, and I know that's... I know that some some Arsenal fans might laugh at me because we got we got beat by them four um, two, but seeing the reaction after that, I never really had any opinion on them. But it, 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 I've I've been triggered a little bit by them. This sense of entitlement. Has Ty um, got to you? Has Ty got no, to you? No, 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 no. It's not even on Arsenal fan TV. It's just other bits that I've seen. This sense of entitlement, and it was so. So gratifying to beat Southampton and see us go back above Wolves and Arsenal. Um, I think they're on a on a on a downward trajectory. Um, the the it's all wrong, isn't it? It's all wrong at the club. I think um, you know the the players that they they say they need to get rid of Deadwood and then they're signing the same individuals that you probably class as Deadwood on deals. Doesn't make sense to me. Um, I don't know what's going on over there, and I'm not really fussed. But um, I think it's a real changing of the guard. Um, you know, I I don't know, like where I, Leicester are now that top, top top six club. Arsenal shouldn't be in that conversation for me anymore. But they will be. But they shouldn't be. Do you know? Um, and I think I think they'll they'll get beat by Leicester. Leicester have only lost once in about thirteen games. Who I think that was against Leeds. Just going to put that out there, but yeah, I know they've uh, they've lost once in about thirteen games, but um, they'll they'll have too much for them. And like Locks has said about Jamie Vardy, he'll score. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Um, well, I do know Arsenal are shit, uh, and Leicester will beat them um, comfortably, I think, as well. How have Leicester been coping without um, James <coughs> Justin Locks? Uh, if I'm honest, not not too bad, really. Um, Luke Thomas, I mean, James Justin, uh, until Ricardo Pereira got injured uh, with his ACL about, uh, about a year ago now nearly, he hadn't played much first-team football for us at all. He played a couple of cup games and that was it. And he came in and he slotted in and he, he was just yeah amazing for us. Um, and he has been, you know, all season. He was probably arguably our best player of the season you know so far um along with Ndidi and, and Fafana and you know a few others but I think um Luke Thomas has come in and and he's been really good he, he made a few starts uh, at the very end of last season after project restart um he had a bit of a tough time against Tottenham uh, and that was his last game for a while but you know he's come back into the team and, he, and he's playing well he, he's you know he bombs up that, that left hand side just like James Justin does I think the difference between the two um James Justin he makes runs off the ball he makes a lot of runs off the ball James Justin does whereas Luke Thomas kind of likes to get the ball into his in, into his feet more like Chilwell um and and sometimes obviously try and dribble forward with it so yeah it, it's not been as bad as, as as we thought we thought even Fuchs might might play some time but he's not really had a, a run in yet so um you know all in all it's not it's not too bad I think the worst the worst would be if the other side. Uh, obviously, we had a, we had another couple injuries there because um, Ricardo Castagna, They've both been out for a while. So yeah. What? Go on, I'll push you for prediction then. Leicester Arsenal. What are you going for, Lux? Um, I normally this type of game. I normally kind of get a bit nervous. Really, I think because. Um, Obviously, Leicester love being the underdogs. And when you go into a game and people are actually expecting Leicester to win, we, we do it's sometimes worse. crumble. Um, but I am going to I am gonna be positive. I'm going to go for a, a, a nice 3-0, actually, this Sunday. Mm. Wow. Not, um, not to um, 
unconfident at all, to be fair. But guys, keep smashing that like button, keep smashing that like button. It'll cheer, it'll cheer locks up after yesterday. It'll cheer <laughs> him up after yesterday. Um, and hopefully, you know, if you know, if you get a like, you know, hopefully he can get himself a Champions League Leicester shirt next season. You have the Leicester, you have Champions League on there instead. <laughs> Um, but how? What are you saying? Leicester versus Arsenal. Mm, thing about Arsenal is that what I'm going to say it again. Uh, I think <laughs> I it's you were, going to I thought be, you were going to say it. I think it's going to be a draw. Sorry, Locks. I can see this being a draw. One all. Elena. The thing is, I think Leicester are too. They've got enough too much quality for Arsenal. Arsenal have a few. Quality, quality players in mm. the Sackers of Bamiangs and you know around the pitch. I mean Smith Rowe. Wow, Lox really took offence to that. <laughs> 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 Lox. Um, yeah, but yeah, but with Smith Rowe and every, I just feel like they've got some youngsters, but not as a cohesive team. I feel like Leicester have got the better of the um, or, like the better whole squad. So I do see Leicester winning two one. I don't see it being like a three nil or something. Big thanks to um, MOT LUFC nineteen nineteen. They're absolutely fantastic super chat. Big thanks to big thanks to them there anyway. Much much appreciated. Yeah. Um, Corey, I guess you know it's a it's a game where you want you want Arsenal to turn up here, don't you? Surely. What what are you thinking? Uh, I don't think they'll turn up. I think it'll be two one two one Leicester. I think it'll be a bit cagey early doors, but like Locke said about Vardy and, and Arsenal, he loves it. So I'm sure he'll turn up. Wayman. I think with Corey, I'd, I think if I'm Corey, I prefer Leicester to win. I think, look, realistically, really? if, 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 yeah, well, if realistically, if West Ham are going to get in there, it's going to be the fourth spot, isn't it? It's going to be like Liverpool. I, yeah, I, 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 I like making that, though, sure. No, think. but this is this is what I'm saying, though. So I suppose, yeah, I'm thinking more if Arsenal can bridge that gap between there and the. We'll the bridge that gap before Arsenal, mate. Yeah, no, nah, you bang on. I'm talking shite. You bang on. <laughs> um, um, can I reply to Owen's comment? <laughs> really sorry, but he's, he's commented it like twice. Wait. Oh, um, well. no, yeah. the other one. Oh, okay. Yes, I would be. Because I don't, I, this manager has to go. And it, I, I feel like we are not going to get any kind of Europe place. So, yes, you're correct. I would be very lucky. With this manager, it's very lucky. Not with any others, because that squad is good enough for at least Europa, regardless of top four. So, anyway, going on, moving on. You can hey, yeah. Corey, what you Corey were joins us again. So, my score. Sorry, no, not Corey, sorry. Yeah, Locks joins us again. About? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry. Locks, you missed a little. Uh, <laughs> You missed a little Elena interlude. Oh, really? I'm I'm going 2 0 Ross. 2 0 less than that. 2 0 less than that. I don't know why I'm on here. You all hate me. No, you don't, man. Whoa, we don't hate you at all. No, I mean, like, I interject in it and you're like, oh, look, she's chatting again. And I'm like, yeah, that's, that's what I do. How does Nim Nees do an impression? Yeah, he is, yeah. <laughs> you no, you no, are Sheffield's I'm answer to Partridge. Uh, well, looks. I'll say what, Jack. You come over to my channel, give me two quid there, and I'll do an impression for you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I feel as well. We haven't seen at him for weeks, so I'm convinced Hal is somehow watching. <laughs> I yeah, genuinely when you say, believe somehow. When you say that. you haven't seen at him. <laughs> well, Have you me? haven't seen. Yeah, you haven't seen my new car. Have you, have you actually had him with your comments? I actually, I can promise you, I haven't had Asu <laughs> in, in my comments. Yeah. Someone, so, someone, someone told me before. I don't know if it was any truth, but apparently you popped up on Gold Goldbridge and mentioned uh, All Leeds TV. I don't know whether or not it was true, but yeah, I was like, big up, big, big up, Aww. flashing the cash. Oh. I'm still convinced he sat somewhere using his dad's credit card or something. Like that. Yeah, it's like Home Alone. Yeah, when they yeah. find the card, Kevin. <laughs> when they find the bill. Um, but yeah, um... I, I just want to point out, ask him if you are watching. I won't make fun of you uh, or your, your dad or his credit card. Come over to the Chef United way. You'd be more than welcome. I Got a bit of a dodgy carburetta, so anything would be welcome. Ah, <laughs> oh, well. Have we have we gone to everyone predictions? I don't even know. We have, haven't we? Right. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to go two one, two one to the Leicester. I think on this one. 
Uh, so next game, oh, our favourite topic <laughs> of the week is Tottenham versus Burnley. <laughs> it's uh, basically, if you take Kane and Son out of it, it's Burnley versus Burnley. Um, yeah, tell me Elena, the difference between, <laughs> give me your thoughts on that. Tell me the difference between Sean Dyche football and Jose Mourinho football right now, other than better players. What's the difference? Because it's nothing. And I get it. We had 20 shots after, but we were 2 0 down at West Ham and then we had 20 shots. Like, I, it, it's like we have to go down for us to actually play football. We never start the game playing football. So, to be honest, I, I do see us winning. I see us winning 1 0. Um, but I think that's just because we have more quality rather than the way we play. We'll both play the same game plan, but I feel like, you know, a Kane can be more, you know, efficient with the chances. But yeah, I feel like we need to we need to be honest here and um, say like that the, the only reason that we will win that game is because we have better players rather than we won't actually play a better game of football. I, I don't think, unless all the rumours of him going out, which we have seen. Um, turn, Eleni, actually, can you turn up a bit? I can. Do you know what? <laughs> I thought that as well, and I t- just okay. Can quite... you hear me better now? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Do you know what Terry told me to turn it down? <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I turned it down, and now it's just out. Apologies, everyone. No, yeah. I was quite happy with it how it was before, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> always there, uh, always there, uh, popping up at the back post. Al Stewart. <laughs> When you actually no. eventually meet me, Oscar, there's no chance I'll be popping up at the back post. I am about as tall as I look on here. Really? I, I think my head would be quite tall, to be fair. I know, I know. I've got the face of a handsome, tall man, but uh, the body and the legs of a of a short man. Oscar's very tall. <laughs> Just off point. Oh, you won't you won't believe it, but Oscar's very, very tall. Is he? Mm. He's massive. <laughs> Because Oscar, really? Oscar, so Oscar, I, I think. Locks? I, I, was, <laughs> I, was, I, was yeah, I was all. I saw a picture. I saw a picture the other day. It was very quick in there, Locks. Like, Oscar's massive. I've never <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but, uh, he sent me some pictures. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, okay, okay. That's not. Um... <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, yeah, I am. I am quite tall. Yeah, it's. Um... <laughs> what about this, <laughs> Elena? Elena? Someone's asked this. Um... What what are About, your thoughts? Hang on. Oh yeah, I think I think it's great. I'll one hundred percent take him as a you know he'll be a good replacement to Loris because Loris is on the way out. I think um, we might get another season out of him. He's he still did great. Right on Sunday, didn't um, he? Loris, he was yeah, all right, wasn't he? No, he yeah, wasn't. no, it's not that. It's, it's <laughs> it, it just anyway. I'm I'm just not even going to comment. But yeah, generally he's okay. But I think we need to start thinking about a replacement, and I'll take him one hundred percent. He's one of the better ones actually Premier League experience but um you know the way we do business we'll probably end up with like a like some 20 year old from wherever and we'll never we'll never see him play so that's just the way either someone finished like heart or someone really young that's not ready that's just the way we do business so I just don't I, I'm not you know I, I'm not too keen I'm not too sure we'll actually get him but I would love it I would love Can getting I him just- Jump in, uh, because I don't often talk about football on this channel, but I saw uh, Nick Pope play about 24 games for York City on loan when he was a youngster, and he was absolutely brilliant. And York have had some tremendous goalkeepers. It has been the one area where they've been really strong, and Nick Pope is up there in the echelons of the best goalkeepers that I've seen at Bootham Crescent. He would be a really, really good addition to Tottenham Hotspur, long term as well. Yeah, that's what I mean. I think he'll be great. So I'll definitely take him. But I don't know if we actually will fork up the money because it'll be more than what we probably would um, like generally get. But yeah, um, regarding the, our general team against Burnley, I see us winning. But I again, it, I think it's not even about the results anymore because I don't know if anyone's seen the reports that have been coming out. I'm sure if any of you follow me, you definitely have seen me retweet them anyway. <laughs> Mr. Nagelsmann. But- Oh, today apparently he said he wants to come. If he if he wants to come and we and we keep Jose Mourinho just for one more inevitable bad season with him because it's always bad in his third season. So if we keep him, if we just don't get Negglesman for one more season of Jose Mourinho, I'll be. I, I, that's it. My club's finished because I don't see why you would. <laughs> if Negglesman wants to come, regardless of what Jose Mourinho wins at the end of the season. You sack him and get Nagelsmann in. If he's willing to come, you're going to ruin. You're going to ruin a chance to get a, a young, one of the young best Euro- managers in Europe right now. Is in. Well, you have that. Winning. 
anything. But you had that, Elena. You had that like last year and, and I later. I get that, but he still lost the dressing room, so we still had to go, regardless of how much I loved Poch. Things went sour due to, as I say, this is what I always say about our owners. There's a glass ceiling for every manager at Tottenham Hotspur because we're never going to push to be more ambitious than that ceiling. And Poch was banging on that ceiling. He was he was banging on that ceiling. Right now, we're not even getting near it. So when everyone says, oh, the board's to blame, yes, it is. But we're not even near the ceiling to then start pushing for more. We're, no, we're not even near it. So there's a problem that can be immediately fixed with getting rid of Jose. And then there's the ambition problem, which needs to be fixed later down the line. But we need to get near that. We need to get near that um, that ceiling, which is top four, realistically. But don't get me wrong, Poch made many mistakes. He didn't win a cup, which is what the reason why we got Jose Mourinho. We're in this position because Poch didn't win us anything in that time. So we thought, quick fix, get us the trophy. So to be honest, we need to, we need to get... You are in the final, the you yeah, that, that's final. fine. That's what I'm saying. Even if he wins that for me, and if Nagelsmann wants to come, that's the long-term fix, um, a managerial fix, not board fix and players, because so many of the players need to be shipped out. But as a managerial fix, it can be it, it can be fixed under, you know, it, next season. But even if he wins that League Cup, he's got to go because if if we have this. You're getting the Europa League in. conference as well if you win that cup. <laughs> Honestly, if that he's going to have to, you know what? We're not going to be paying 15 million a season for a manager that's not in Europe. That's I there, genuinely, like that. earlier on, yeah, when I was looking at it, mm. and if you win the you, you cap at one cup, you're getting this Europa League conference, and I was like, right, who's in the final? And I and and I want I want Mourinho to win a cup because I said he would, so I want to be able to say it. I did say. But then at the same time, now that I know that that's an option, I'm like, oh, I hope City win them so we might get into that Europa League conference, to be honest. Yeah, the conference well, if, bit sounds so <laughs> unsexy. <laughs> <doesn't> it? <laughs> it sounds so unsexy, if doesn't it? We, if, if that's what we're trying to do, then you know what? I'm done. I'm done with this mm. club. Like, I, I like if that's it. But honestly, I just think that we need to, if, if he's willing to come, this is a long-term fix and we could get Nagelsmann in. If he's willing to come, um, it will be very stupid to not get him in for one season of Jose Mourinho, which inevitably is going to go wrong. Do you know, do you, I, sorry, I just like, <laughs> I like when Elena goes on a rant, mate. Um, obviously, prior to, any talk of Kane going for me was premature. However, now, with the situation yeah. that you are in, and yeah. it doesn't look like it's going to get sorted. And European yeah. football looks like it's I'm laughing because so I know what I want to say. Yeah, he, go on. <laughs> he could be gone, though, Elena. And then... And, and, then and who's got... Right, so in five years, Kane didn't win nothing, yeah? Kane didn't win nothing and he looked like he was never going to go. Funnily enough, the serial winner comes in. Now he's looking on the edge to go. Uh, like, And everyone keeps saying to me, oh, um, how, why would Nagelsmann come here? Why would Nagelsmann come here? Well, either we, Jose Mourinho has made our club more undesirable or we're in such a state because we were we were very desirable when Poch was here. We were on the brink of something special and that, that's true. Yeah. Like every, even players that we, they knew we hadn't won anything wanted to come because we were on the brink of something good. And it's like, what have we, we've ruined all of that in one season, what, a season mm. and a half. And to me, it's like either you got to be honest that Jose Mourinho has made our club either more undesirable than it ever was, or I love Leeds. Everyone knows I love Leeds. I get comments on my stream saying I'm a Leeds fan. <laughs> I'm like, I know. I just em love the way you play. I want to emulate that play with the quality we have on the pitch. It would be great. But anyway, we can't all be lucky and have attacking managers, hey? But yeah, um, that's you what, know, that's what I keep saying though. You know, why didn't you just give Pochettino a bit? Little bit of time just to get through that tough little bit of a run. I mean, realistically, if Nagelsmann does turn up, he's not going to achieve yeah. what even Pochettino achieved, surely, Elena. Um, yeah, I, I do you know what I get what you're saying. Um, but the thing is, it's it's the fact that he got too ambitious for what the club was. And don't get me wrong, I, I get that he made many, many mistakes. We could have that team was never good enough to win an FA Cup. Arsenal won the FA Cup last season and they were shocking. So, like, we could definitely win a cup with the team he had at his peak. So, like, he made many mistakes by not taking cup seriously. If he did, I'm telling you he would have still been here because he would have had something in the bank. 
But because he didn't win anything, then we go and lose that Champions League final and then we're all on a downhill. It kind of looked like, right, we're never going to win anything with this guy. We had to get rid of him. But if he just won one or two cups during that time, we would have kept him. Regardless of the ball, I know the ball don't ambitious. The ball in 2017, we needed two players, two world class players, like proper good players, just to you know win a title or win or you know win the Champions League. We needed two players and we never got them. So he went. Sorry, go on. What I don't understand, right? And listen, Mm. I know we've only just come in the Premier League after a 16 long year wait and all this sort of stuff, but. When we got to the Champions League semi-final, it was like, wow, you know? We fucking, mm-hmm. wow, you know? This is amazing. Oh, wow. Wow, I'm going the second, though. We talked about wow. Ah, <laughs> uh, he's oh, back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's back. Asim, uh, go to the Chef United way. <laughs> Just type that in the top bar. We're doing a match preview. Match preview at 7 p.m. tomorrow. Live watch along on Sunday. More than welcome, <laughs> Asim. More than welcome. They're great, by the way. I everyone everyone loves Asim in the chat as well, man. It's amazing. Um, <laughs> no, but but to, what I'm saying is, right, like, it was amazing for us. It's like, mm. wow. Champions League semi final. Tottenham got to a final. Yeah? Yeah. Got to a, yeah. That should... I mean this with the best intention. You can tell me to do one and I may be way off the mark. That yeah. should be enough for Tottenham. I, 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 I get what you're saying. Final. Trust me, this is what Miracle. I'm saying. Winning, for me, winning the, you know, the energy drink cup, as I say, <laughs> winning that is not going to give me the same feeling as that no. last minute winner is getting to a final and we didn't even yeah. win it. It will not be on the same. Even though it's a trophy, you're telling me something this big compared to something massive, right? Everyone watches Champions League final. We, we grew as a club. By just being mm. in that game. So I always say to me, you cannot disrespect how good that Champions League is. Because even being in it is much more financially stable for the club and just generally better than just winning a League Cup. I mean, you can win a League Cup and be 11th. And where's, where are you going? No club's going to want to pay for you just because you've won a League yeah. Cup. Like, don't get me wrong, I would love the trophy as a fan, but thinking as a player and as a club, that's not elevating our club at all. Poch did something that actually sustainably elevated our club. And this is why I'm saying, even if he wins that, like wins that trophy, he's got to go after it because the long term plan is not there. Mm. Definitely. Yeah, uh, fair, fair enough. From, from Barbados. <laughs> Let's go on to predictions. Let's yeah, go on to predictions. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tottenham Burnley. Tottenham Burnley. I'll go to one you nil. first. Anyway, one nil. <laughs> one nil home. One nil. But one nil. One nil to us. We'll win one nil. Um Corey, Corey, what are you saying? Uh go go <laughs> one all. I'm if you surprised. remember what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot it's something to do with Tottenham Burnley, but yeah, Tottenham will, will bottle it against Burnley. You think? Yeah, well, I definitely think so. Look at the state of your two centre backs. I mean, the Jay Rodriguez is going to have a lot of them. The, the car will be Craig Dawson, can they? <laughs> exactly, exactly, mate. <laughs> oh, can I? Can, sorry, I'm sorry, because I've never said this point, but can I just say one more thing and then you look and go? <laughs> I just want to say, everyone keeps talking about, oh, you need a better defence, you need a better defence. You, he's the one that said he wanted Eric Dyer to be his main defender. He's the one that approved Eric Dyer to get a longer contract. He's the one that said he is, you know, he's part of his long-term plans. We saw it in the documentary. So everyone's saying, oh, do you really think he wanted Eric Dyer? Yes. Yes, I do, because he said it. So, yeah, this everyone says this, this is not his defence. Funnily enough, he gave contracts to Toby and Dyer. This is his defence. You coach it now, mate, because it's your fault. Poch, he was he was out of that team. Dyer was out of the team when the Poch. So uh, that's all I've got to say on, about the defense. Every, yes, they are terrible, and yes, they are shit. But you you chose them to be your main defenders. They weren't getting new contracts under Poch. They were on their way out. Anyway, I think Joe's literally eating popcorn now. I mean, he's literally eating popcorn. What are you saying, mate? Tottenham versus Burnley. Uh, I'm on a diet, mate. Special care. I'm. Uh... As soon as this is all done, you see, I've already booked my hotel. Me and the kids and the missus were going on holiday straight away. So I'm in strip down mode. I'm running. I'm eating well. 
because at the minute I'm carrying a little bit of extra weight. That's all, pal. So I want to get, I want to get some. Like they watch you on the beach. <laughs> I'm going to get some of I'm in my beard. I've let myself go this last one. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I need to sort my head out. Um, anyway, I know that wasn't the question. I'm going one all, mate. I'm with Corey. Um, definitely one all. One all. Um, I think, yes, yeah, Sean Dyche and Mourinho. It's just like, it's going to be so boring, isn't it? It's going to be so boring. One all. What are you saying, Hal? 2-0 uh, Tottenham. Locks. 1-0 Burnley. Oh wow, wow! Actually, this is this is not good. Let's just hope he's seen the reports and we actually play some football. Let's just hope. Well, um, Leeds could still be in Champions League contention if that happens. If a Mourinho team plays football, but anyway, I'm going to go. I'm going to go one nil. Um, Son to um, to bail Mourinho out just about. Um, so next game, next game we are looking at is mm, well, it's a. Uh, it's the case of choose your favourite hangover as to who I want to win this game. Chelsea or that team over from the Pennines. It's it's just it's just yeah, it's not a great choice to make. But I mean, obviously Tuchel um got a very, very good win in the midweek at Atletico Madrid. Um very, very impressive win to be fair. I mean, what have you made to his impacts? This uh, Chelsea um locks. Yeah, I mean, obviously, a lot of the time when you get any manager in, it, it gives the players a boost. You see a, an improvement in in the form. But I don't know. I think obviously we we would we, we sat him so many times. Obviously, discussing whether Lampard should be sacked or not. I think I was the only one who, who said he shouldn't be. I think the rest of you said that he he should have been. But um, you also said it would be a fairy tale if Man United won the league. <laughs> hey, I didn't say a fairy tale. I said a story. A story. You said a fairy tale. I'll go back. Yeah, it was not a fairy tale. Um, but yeah, I think um yeah, they've definitely improved. I mean, you know, Ben Chilwell, fifty million pounds sign in, um, doing another, you know, Danny Drinkwater and going to Chelsea to play, you know, amazing football. Danny Drinkwater, that's a name from the past. Yeah, he's now playing for some Turkish Turkish side, yeah. Um but yeah, I think um, look, they, they've improved massively. I, I, I fancy them. I fancy them to, to guarantee top four football, to be fair. You know, you can tell the difference in them. Um, Giroud, man, that, that goal, that goal. And I mean, I, I've seen so many articles about him, you know, saying, is he is he one of the most underrated strikers of, of this generation? I certainly think he is. I think he doesn't get the praise he deserves at all. Um but obviously, you know, you've got Werner as well. You've got um, Abraham. They've, they've got options up there, and that's always good to have. I mean, Werner hasn't been, you know, hasn't been great this year, but I can only see him improving under Tuchel, to be fair. So, yeah, I think um, I think they'll be all right. I think they'll do Man United as well this weekend, and uh, and I think they'll finish top four. I mean, Corey, what do you make to um, Tuchel kind of just calling out Callum Hudson-Odoi in the last game mm -hmm. um, in terms of... The, I, I find it strange for two reasons. One, that you play Callum Hudson-Odoi, and he has done quite a lot at wing-back. When you've got a player of that talent, why not just play him higher up the pitch? And and yeah, just the way he subbed him on, then subbed him off after half an hour and then just went and just called him out. It's, it's a dangerous game to play at Chelsea, that show, surely. Yeah, it was a bit weird though, wasn't it? Because he brought him on and he actually made an impact and then he took him off because he said something to do with his work off the ball. But I think that's just the standard that, that Tuchel set. And listen, you can see the clear difference in managerial capabilities between Lampard and Tuchel now. I mean, it's, it's oh, don't so tell obvious. Harry Redknapp that. Don't tell the Redknapps that. Yeah, Why, yeah. Mate? What, what was Tuchel one, exactly? But it, What's you know, the other one? But it, honestly, it, that's... Oh, I hate Chelsea, but they got a really, really good result midweek. It was a really good performance and and they should have been performing at this level now. You look at the people they were bringing on. I think it was like Pulisic and, you know, they, they took Mount off and brought Kante on. I mean, that's they, they should probably be doing better than top four, to be fair. But the, the Callum Hudson-Odoi thing's a bit weird. I know he's had a few things in the past where managers have taken him off and then put him in. And it, it, you forget he's, what, 19? I think he's 19, 20 and he's on like 130k a week or something ridiculous. So he's a talented player. But, again, I think it's just time. I really rate him as a player. But, yeah, odd, odd thing from Tuchel, trying to stamp his authority. It's still a classic, though, that Harry Redknapp interview, like an hour after the sacking, when he's calling out Gary Neville saying, who says he's a top manager and all that lot? And it's just, it was just, it was, oh, it was unreal. It was unreal. Like, of all the, I still I can't remember Harry. that. The, I love him. It, I love it. I know. You can't, can't not love stand him. him. I can't stand him. Honestly. Oh, to be fair, West Ham, yeah. It's, it's it, yeah, uh, just uh, yeah, just don't even bother talking to the Hammers about it. Because they, uh, they, they don't they don't like him. 
<laughs> yeah. Do you know what? Fair. I don't either. I think all he does is goes into clubs, spends a shit ton of money on a load of garbage, and then leaves them in a lot worse. Exactly. exactly. He's one of the best man managers we've ever had. Yeah, but, but it's back, gone. Them days clubs. are gone. Them days are gone where you can all oh, put your arm around you. Come on, we'll take you for a pint with the family. In I there. love him. Can we just stop gone, the man. disrespect right now? Because I love no, him. I, honestly, I'm I, I'm not I, I'm not keen on him. I'm not. I think. I, Look at Portsmouth and that. He just go in, sign the same players on crazy money, and ex I'm a genius. And he's just, and there's a reason he's not working. He, put, in football he made bail, right? He put his arm around bail. You give him the confidence. No, he, he puts him against no, the, the worst person. <laughs> the, the, the worst person in the, in, on the on the pitch, and he just gives it to them to go nutmeg them and you know put a free kick around them. No, I remember four four two, and it was an interview of Luka Modric. Were he also were he also done for um, setting up fake accounts in his dogs' names as well? Yeah. Well, let's not go early well, yeah, now. That's, we... that's, that's, that's different. Allegedly, <laughs> allegedly, <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> we should emphasise because the the Lampard family, the Redknapp family, I don't think are big fans of what well, would be like big fans of our channel. But allegedly, allegedly, <laughs> allegedly. But I remember looking at an interview four four two. It was with Luka Modric, and he said like what. Because obviously he started out with Redknapp at Tottenham. He said, "What was Harry Redknapp's? Um, what was he like as a coach?" And he went on oh, like great man manager. He said, um, "Tactically, he just told the team just pass it to, to go for it." Yeah, yeah. He's got no tactics. It's all gung ho. <laughs> just go, go out there and just, uh, just attack. Like even Poch was a bit more tactical than um, <laughs> than, 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 than Redknapp. But you know, Redknapp did one of my favourite. <laughs> <players. laughs> It looks good, mate. It looks good. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'll just... Let's have a look. No, it was just this. <laughs> Lox, this, is, this is an episode of Grand Designs. This is an episode of Grand Designs. This is... He's playing around with his graphic. No, how, someone, how, someone how, uh, got in touch with for me, uh, he... he made that for me so i just thought i'd quickly add it on i didn't think it would actually display it now but there we go we'll stick <laughs> with it that's my, my boy bobby he makes great graphics at bobby noakes with an extra s on the end he's uh, he's a legend i mean i, I have to speak to bobby noakes mm -hmm. then thank you hal yeah, very good very good it's uh it was just a bit unexpected just a bit unexpected <laughs> how does it i'm sorry locks decides to change you know his whole background there <laughs> on us you know just, just completely throw me off that to be fair Sorry. mate completely <laughs> thrown me off there you know it's um not great could have been great. worse to be fair could have gone wrong could have selected the wrong file <laughs> <laughs> oh god well okay well, we won't go down that well we, we might but we don't know <laughs> let's uh that's not that's not um but look obviously man united completely mm. bottled that supposed title charge 21 is coming this and that you know, they all they're all a bit all a bit loud to be fair. Well thanks to Howe's team that ever since ever since they went and did mm. it, that they, they've kind of gone a bit downhill. So always back Yorkshire. Always back Yorkshire. <laughs> Yorkshire puddings. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> right. <laughs> Yorkshire Puddings. <laughs> just trying to, trying to win the Leeds fans over. What do I know about Yorkshire? Think quickly. <laughs> Yorkshire Puddings. All Yorkshire the history pudding. of Yorkshire. Great, I mean, them. I love a good Yorkshire Pudding on a Sunday. Bit yeah, yeah, good. Yorkshire Puddings are good. Oh, my favourite meal is stored in the hall. Stored in the hall. Oh, hey, Joe, that. that's my favourite meal as well. Oh, oh it's amazing. Is that, is, is that is. Yorkshire thing or no? Or is it's it just a people that, people that like good food thing. Yeah. By the way... Um, <laughs> I haven't said this for a while, so um, Rafinha's good, isn't it? Oh <laughs> <laughs> well, it's even better since you last spoke, mate. He's even yeah, but better. he is though. He is. He is. I'll happily baller. take him. I think he would like to come to Tottenham. So yeah. well, uh, if there is any it's Liverpool, open. any Liverpool, Tottenham, any big clubs when they're watching this, go for that. Pedro Neto. Big clubs, you, you see what? everyone for, here. You hear big Go for Neto. <laughs> go for Neto. No, Rafinha's rubbish. Neto all the way. All, all we get all the time is like Man United fans like saying Dan James and 20 million. Are you like, oh. are you having a fair? Oh, Joe, Joe, we get that with Declan Rice. They're like, we'll give you Matic and we'll give oh, you. Oh, yeah, Phil I do Jones. like oh, Declan Rice. Matic. I want it. I want it. Yeah. Give me some like, money. <laughs> it's so stupid. Like, honestly, we'll still be here next season. No, no, he'll be, he'll be at my club. It's fine. 
No, yeah. uh, unlike Daniel me, Levy, it's not going to spend. Daniel Levy Rafinha will, will still be here. You next say season. that, but do you know what's our problem? It's not even spending money because sometimes we spend money, but we spend money on crap. So let's spend money on good players for a change and actually, you know, because we spent a lot on a lot of money on players that didn't need to be that much. So let's actually get you know get some good players in. Do you remember Hopefully, when you spent, do you remember when you spent the bail money? Well, <laughs> paying it now, aren't they? <laughs> well, I mean, we still have Lamella. We we literally replaced Bale with Lamella, and then Lamella with Bale. <laughs> like, it's, yeah. it's quite funny. How is Paulinho these days, or whatever, uh, whatever Paulinho, his name is? I don't know how he finessed his way into that Brazil team. I genuinely don't know what he did to get into that Brazil team. It's hilarious. Crazy, <laughs> Juan de Ramos. Uh, you know, I lost I lost trophy winner to be fair. So, would you take Juan de over Jose? They're both the same. They've got the both. They've literally got the the same win percentage as each other. The last time we won a trophy, it's weird. But they definitely have. They're literally identical on win percentage. It's weird. That's really like bad if you're Jose Mourinho though, because yeah. like. Oh yeah, no, it's it's bad if you're a Tottenham fan because you're still backing him as stuff he's done for other clubs. Like, start looking at what he's doing for our club because it's nothing as what. Hyundai Ramos did, as everyone knows. Anyway, I don't yeah. think a League Cup in 2008 changed much of the club's mentality, as everyone's going on about. But hey ho, we just have to go through it and act like, yes, you're a winner. You've won us the easiest trophy beating Brentford and Stoke. Yay! Right, let's get a prediction then, anyway. Let's get a prediction swiftly on this <laughs> one. Um, Chelsea. I don't know where Man- we were. <laughs> Elena, Chelsea, Man United. Oh, um. I think Chelsea are going to win. I think United have gone downhill. Um, and no, I cannot stop talking. This is why I'm here. You so tell anyway. them, Marina. You tell them. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I think I think Chelsea are going to are going to win. I feel like United have gone downhill. So, yeah. Um, By the way, uh, Elena, I, yeah, that pitch that you that Tottenham sold us, yeah, not great. Not, oh, great. not great. Not great. I think you've still got your London like hoodoo over it. To be fair, mm, have you kept the receipt? <laughs> no, unfortunately, not. Me, <laughs> Levy will not take it back. He's, he he doesn't do refunds. He'll be like, "You've got it now." <laughs> 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 but um, yeah, I don't know. But um, yeah, I don't. I think I think Chelsea will win two one. That's that's the end of that question because everyone's. It's not even my fault. You lot throw random questions at me while I'm talking <laughs> and keep me talking, and everyone moans. So it's you. You, you were you were you were also on the phone a second ago, I think. So maybe that's why you weren't paying attention. <laughs> no, no, no. I was getting messages about going on Kendall's show, and I said I'm going to be late as always. Like, okay, like, cool. <laughs> I, can I can go if you want. And it, to be fair, I actually didn't know where we were. I did well actually know where we were. Blimey, yeah. Locks. Locks was a bit, a bit much, wasn't it? You can go if you want. That was hard. Yeah, it was hard. Yeah, oh, 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 was it hard? Was, 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 was it hard that said that then? Yeah. Elena's not going anywhere. Right. <laughs> Chelsea versus that team, whoever they are. Corey, what are you saying? 2-1 uh, Chelsea. Very good. How? Yeah, just want to apologise for Locks again, Elena. You know, once he gets started, he gets ideas of the station. Thought, I, I honestly thought that was Locks then. I was yeah, going to say, Locks, not... that's not like you, but if it's coming from you, it's pretty normal. So. No, he's, got his new, he's got his new snazzy background. He's got overexcited. <laughs> he's had a bit of sugar he's, before. He's giving it the bigger now, the Champions League team. He's giving it the bigger, just like West Ham fans up there. Yeah, I, I, I joke, right. of course. Um, is Timo Werner fit? Is he going to be playing in this game? Think so. Do we know? He's got he's 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 got a medieval cannon for a leg. It's imposing, powerful, but not very accurate. And I think that will cost Chelsea. So like I can Sissoko. see. Uh, yes, yeah, j- just like Sissoko. So I'm going to say uh, one all. I was wondering where you were going with that like, medieval thing. I was thinking, where is he going with that? But. Um... But yeah, that's fair enough, fair enough. Wayman, what are you saying? Nil-nil. Nil-nil? Nil-nil? Yeah. Locks? Uh, One-nil Chelsea. Fair enough, fair enough. Well, we will move on to uh, the main game. This, um, Actually, no, we're gone. We've got another game to go to before that. Blades versus Liverpool. Oh, um, <laughs> but I, I've, 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 I've been... 
probably the best time to play Liverpool all season, would you say? Yeah, that's a really good point. I mean, Liverpool have got some some awful well, injuries. Uh, they're on a four-match losing run. So they've got problems at the back, haven't they? Like, uh, you know that Ozan Kab- Kabak, who, who no one had ever heard of, but now suddenly he's their only decent centre-back. Uh, Jordan Henderson, unavailable, ruled out probably till April. It's a groin operation that he's had on that. So they've got uh, Nat Phillips, who no one knows anything about. Uh, they've got former Blades target Ben Davis, not that one. And Fabinho, you can have who, him, could, <laughs> who could all play... <laughs> Uh, at centre backs, so that's going to be interesting. That they have got a completely different back line because we will also have a completely different back line. It'll be the first time. What is that noise? That sounds like the end of the world. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's not me. Not me. Is that? that? For a while. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. By the way, everyone right? appreciate the headphones. I was rubbing the mic. Like, I don't know why. Extremely loud. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Okay, it sounds like the start of the film Jeepers Creepers. <laughs> and it's completely thrown me. That was the only time I actually had anything that was actually oh, no, some research, bit of football that I thought I'd bring to the channel. And then uh, I'm waiting something's just going to drop in the mic. Yeah, something's going to haunt my nightmares. Uh, so, where was I? Yes, Ben Davis. I was going to do a joke. I can't remember what you're, it was now. You're going to have a whole new backline, you were saying. Oh, no, actually, that's not a joke. You're right. Our new back line is the first time since March 2016 that we won't have one of our Pistons, which is Jack O'Connell, Chris Basham, and John Egan. First time since March 2016. That is absolutely incredible. So we will also have an entirely new back line. I don't know how many games there are in the Premier League where two sides face each other, where that back line for both sides will never have played together before. I think that's definitely going to make this quite intriguing and could lead to errors. Also, we should mention that the tragic news of uh, Jose Becker, father of Liverpool goalkeeper, Alisson, who tragically passed away. So we don't actually know if Alisson's going to play in goal. We don't know if Jota is. We only know he's back in training. He might just be on the bench. So I think there's definitely some interest in this game if you're a neutral because it could be two kind of unrecognisable teams. We've got loads of injuries. They've got loads of injuries. It's Injury FC versus Injury FC. But you've absolutely... So, sorry, all Connell's out and Egan Basham too, right? Then mm. that's big for you then, isn't it? Huge, huge, huge job, yeah. Wow. You, okay. You've got to win this, though, haven't you, Hal, to have any chance? Well, you look at it. You know, you, you look at it on the on, before the season starts, Oscar. You look at your fixtures. You think Liverpool. That's a, yes, your banker for Sheffield United. You've got to win that. <laughs> uh, and then you look at your hard games. Your you know what I mean. Don't, don't yeah. Why needs to be like that about it? Yeah, we're not the team that's like ten points adrift here. I'm just, I'm just trying to be nice. Oh. And, you know, just trying to be. But no, no, I was just trying to be nice. You know, <laughs> you make you are on one point behind us. I, I am literally now on the same boat, which I shouldn't be. Well, uh, I worked out this earlier that Sheffield United have played 185 Premier League games and scored 182 goals. So a 4-0 win against Liverpool makes us level. So that's what I'll go with. Okay. (laughs) Never know, to be fair, Liverpool at the minute. If uh, if Adrian's in goal, then uh, I think anything could happen, to be fair. Um, Exactly. But yeah, I mean... Joe, I mean, what what your what your feelings going to this one? Liverpool misfiring a little bit, in, well, a lot in the league at this moment in time. Every time, ugh, every time, because I, I have to do my scores earlier for something else. I have gone two one Liverpool, but I always tried to give Sheffield United a hope. But then I always remember that Hal said about you only ever score one goal, and I just think I know Liverpool are in great form, but sheffield especially <laughs> even more so now that he's told me that they have them three center backs out as well then it's uh the pistons yeah the pistons as it were so i'm gonna stick with that two 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 one uh two one liverpool you bastard you are right Locks. i thought i heard your mic again getting robbed did anybody hear it <laughs> yeah 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 it's the opening of the, gates to, opening of the gates to hell That's well it's not me yet. It's didn't not didn't me hear it. Is that, i didn't do it so it's not me um, well, yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, how, how's fuming now if you said that, Joe? You've hurt his feelings massively. No, there, no, no, not at all, because actually Joe keeps predicting we're going to win, and every time he does, we lose. So this is yeah. like Mark Lawrence predicting a Chef United defeat. It's, it's fine. <laughs> it's so true, though, right? Because I do the day trippers on a night, on a night um, and I used to say Chef United 1 0 all the time. And then the two times that I weren't on when they had midweek games, Sheffield United won them both. So it's an actual yeah. real thing. And we've lost all our games seemingly 1-0. So, uh, yeah. 
<laughs> it's not my fault. It's not your fault. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Well, let's let's get some predictions for this one then. Um, Locks, what are you saying? Sheffield United versus Liverpool. Um, well, for some reason, Dominic in the in the comments is is wanting me and Hal to argue for some reason, just like old times. Um, <laughs> but I, I'd rather stay away from that. So uh, I'm going to go with a, a one-one draw. Okay, fair enough. I, I, I won't mind you arguing. To be fair, I won't mind that debate about um, about that bet. To be fair, from all the, from all those years ago. Um, <laughs> Elena, what are you saying? Um, I would love to predict a Sheffield United win, but I just can't see it, even with their injuries, especially now hearing um, Sheffield United's injuries. I just don't, um, I just can't see it happening. So I'm going to go with Joe two one to Liverpool. I just can't, see, I just can't see them beating them. But I would love you to. So I'm going to be watching your watch along, cheering you lot on because it would be great. Not for two reasons. One, I want you lot to stay up so you can stay on here because it would be, it's you're hilarious. Um, two, because who, you know, gives us a bit more chance. Not that we actually have any chance, but of anything. So yeah, I don't. Yeah, just beat Liverpool, and I'll apologise next week. <laughs> <laughs> How? Obviously, you said four 0 a minute ago. I'm, I'm taking it. I wasn't a serious prediction then, or was it? What's your prediction? No, you're right. Six like nil no. against us. So yeah, it wasn't <laughs> a serious prediction. Uh, Five nil. <laughs> <laughs> Right, um, I'm not even going to try and push there now because I just know you're going to go six nil and seven nil. Um, Corey, what are you saying? Two uh, nil Liverpool. No surprises. Corey goes for West for Sheffield United to lose. Um, oh, anyway. to, be fair, to, be, to be fair, they gave us a better game. They gave us a better game than Spurs, so they're, they're not a bad team. Yeah. Like oh, yeah. Yeah. This is this is a criminal. <laughs> this is criminal. I actually, can't. <laughs> I tell you what, Corey. Corey is the, is the troublemaker in this group now. Oh, He's got one. Oh, He's oh, trying oh, to get oh, me oh, angry, right. and then all sits there quietly like he didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Corey, honestly, if you watch the first before the whistle blows, the difference in Corey since that. I mean, we, we were getting relegated then. What's so <laughs> <laughs> going on now? So we, you know. We, these rivalry, even though we don't consider them rivals. Anyway, moving on. Right, let's move on to the biggest <laughs> game of the week. I'm going to go. I'm going to go one nil Liverpool. To be fair, um, right, biggest game of the week: Leeds versus the Villa. Um, so obviously, me and Joe discussed this one pretty extensively. So I'm going to go to Locks first. What are you thinking about this Leeds versus Aston Villa? Can both teams have got key players out? Villa have got Grealish, Matty Cash out. Leeds have got potentially Calvin Phillips, Rodrigo Moreno, and Mateus Click out. What are you thinking about these this game with two injury depleted teams? I think I think uh, you'll you'll get the three points. I hope you do. I hate Villa, hate Grealish. Um, I'm well. No, I'm, I won't say I'm glad he's injured because that's a bit harsh. But I, 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 they're, they're, they're nowhere near. We just the right did team. that. You, you, yeah, you, should, you <laughs> kind of should have said that out no, loud. I just, to be fair. I'm not I'm not a fan of him. Not a fan of Villa. Um, but I think. They're, they're nowhere near the side, you know, they are when Greed is just fit. Um, you know, we played them last weekend and, you know, it, the, the scoreline was close. It was 2-1, but the first half we absolutely battered them. Uh, we went 2-0 up in, in quick succession. So, second half, we made it a bit difficult for ourselves. But I think, I, I'm, I'm sure, I'm pretty sure you'll get the three points here, really. I mean, they're... <sighs> Bertrand Traore, I mean, he's got the pace, obviously. John McGinn's good as well, running through midfield. Um, they have got threats. Watkins, of, of course, as well. You know, they, they've got threats on the break. Um, but I just can't see them getting anything from this game. I think you will win comfortably. I'll probably go for a 2-0. And I, and I really do hope that you batter them. Fair, fair enough, fair enough. Um, our I friends there, that, right? Yeah, no, I love that. I do love that. It's... Um... Let's go to Hal. Let's go to Hal. Do we know how, how much Hal loves Yorkshire in general? Um, I do. I yeah. bloody do. I bloody love does. Yorkshire. I <laughs> bloody <laughs> love Yorkshire, me. I mean, you're getting more and more like Partridge, by the day. You are just a Yorkshire Partridge now. That 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 is going to stick now. Hal Partridge. Um, or Halan Partridge, I'll say. Um, anyway, that was terrible, wasn't it? Mm, Leeds nice. Villa, what are you going for? Sort of works, uh, even though it is. Wildly offensive. Uh, I am, as I look at the table, I cast my weary eye over the table. Offensive. Uh, well, I think calling anyone Alan Partridge. 
you know, when, when they, they Alan have Partridge spent... is the coolest guy. Go in, mate. Coolest I think, guy. I think it's go because I, I am actually a radio broadcaster. Exactly. Did, this is I where I spend about seven months living in a travel tavern. Uh, so I do. I also I also did have an assistant as well. So it's it's quite it's too close to life uh, <laughs> to be to be parody. Um, so looking at the looking at the table, get an assistant. Uh, I mean, an assistant. I'd love that life. Yo. Oh, it's actually more hassle than it's worth if if they do ever let you down and you have to administer some form of discipline. It's it's actually quite awkward. I'm not very good at that. I'm not good at confrontation. Of any kind. Anyway, having a look at having a look at the table. Um, Aston Villa, of course, have played two games less, but both sides have won the same amount of games. And, one of them uh, is against us. They're game in hand, so they'll win that one. <laughs> right. I thought, is there any way I can answer this without having anything to do with Tottenham? But uh, clearly, the <laughs> <laughs> I just had to say. I just had to say. You did. You didn't have to say. I did. Um, I did, but, especially because okay. you were talking. I had to say. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll just but say um, Rafinha's good, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> He'll probably be the difference. Yeah. No, you, do you know what, though? You're right, because Matty Cash is out and El Mohamed, is about 40-year-old and not a right-back. And I think, I think Rafinha will probably play on the left for that matter and absolutely terrorise him, to be honest. I'm looking forward to it. I honestly don't know how a lady managed to do it on every game. Just get to stop them in there. Like, <laughs> I just still like that a lot. He said they played two games less, so I'm like, they're going to win one of them because one of them's against us. It had to be said. It was a valid point. <laughs> I mean, if we go, if I said now, let's talk about Celtic versus Hibernian, and like you would find a way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even try, though. You want to make it very easy. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, <laughs> what are you saying, Elena? Leeds versus Villa. Do you think Leeds can do the business? Yeah, I think Villa have got. You know, Villa having Grealish out is a big, big miss for them. I feel like I genuinely. This isn't even me trolling. I genuinely feel like Rafinha will have a good game. <laughs> um, I mean, I love watching him. I, I think you lot will create a lot if you put a couple of them away. I don't think Villa have enough in them to get back into the game. Um, I'm gonna predict three-one Leeds. Nice. It's quite, quite a, quite a serious scoreline, but I feel like you look great so much. So, yeah. Corey. Yeah. I'm laughing at you. Owen's comment. Yeah, me too. That was very good. And you have just proven it correct as well, Alona. <laughs> I'm laughing at that too. <laughs> anyway, yeah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, uh, Rafinha. No, I, was, I watched the game the other day the, against Southampton, and he, he. Do you know what? I can't remember. I think the last time someone came from that league and absolutely blitzed it was was Payet, to be fair. And that's the kind of vibe that I think Rafinha gives in terms of what he actually. I didn't realise how good he was. In fact, he was seventeen mil. He's mm. an is an absolute snip. So Villa, a couple of injuries. They rely on Jack Grealish. Obviously, Matty Cash out. That's a massive loss. So. Yeah, no, I think I think it'll be interesting. I think you're improving as well, to be fair, Leeds. I think you're getting a bit more consistent. Your defence is improving. Liam Cooper had a good game the other day as well, albeit he had like three open headers against Wolves. So, but you're getting there. You're getting there. I think it'll be interesting to see where you're at next season. Get a couple of signings in and you'll probably push on. But I reckon 2 0 Leeds. Europe, baby. Mm-hmm. Telling you. We can get in the conference. The Europe, no, I mean, the that, conference? That be no, it's team. awful. We don't want the European Conference. I'll take, I'll take it. Our <laughs> aim, guys. Don't, don't be dissing it. That's where we're going to be. I don't know why. When you keep saying you're at European Conference, I'm just picturing all the teams that qualify just sat around this room. I, just, I don't picture that football match taking place in that city. In that, I don't picture... <laughs> It would be uh, the most tin pot thing you've ever seen. The most tin pot thing you've ever seen. You have a coin toss to decide who wins. <laughs> He's getting so if, he, if he gets me a Corey. European trip with Leeds United, I'm all over it. Yeah, okay. But this is what I mean. Corey says stuff like that. It'll be the most Tim Pot thing, knowing full well that that could be me. And he just sits there silently, like he didn't oh, say no. anything. No, no, no. <laughs> and then if I if I reply, I, like, no, I, I wasn't even I wasn't even digging you out. Like genuinely, <laughs> like if West Ham ended up in that, I'll be buzzing because it's a, a way day, isn't it? That's the thing. Yeah, oh, Corey, uh, West Ham did well in the Intertoto Cup, didn't they? Exactly. Won it. Do you know what I mean? And we're still talking about that now, so. 
another opportunity to do that again. When did you win that? Oh, are people seriously asking me questions? <laughs> that's not my fault. Look at the comments. People are asking me questions. <laughs> I wasn't expecting. I thought you were going to say like two or three years ago, not 1999. No, no, no but that's that's how it's big thing, isn't it, man? Like it is. Get me no, in Europe. In, in serious, if Leeds finished, it got that that Europe, Europa Conference. You'd be buzzing, wouldn't you? Because yeah, it'd be like first season up, European football next season. Away leg in Liechtenstein, all over it. I'm telling you. Oh, blimey, blimey. But, um, <laughs> Wayman, any any last thoughts on um, Leeds Villa that, uh, no. that we haven't mentioned before? No, I, I think I think we'll win the game, though. 2 0 Bamford back to his. Yeah, the A team, don't they? So it's all the more satisfying when he puts it in the back of the net. So I think he'll do the same again to. Tomorrow, Bamford for England and all that jazz. There you go. No, absolutely, absolutely. Let's get, let's get some predictions in the house then. Um, Corey? 2 0 Leeds. 2 0. Hal? Uh, if my grandparents were alive, they would smother me with a pillow to end the bloodline. And do you know what? <laughs> I would thank them because I am going to predict a Leeds win. By two goals to nil, or as I like saying, as they say in America, uh, two to negative. <laughs> two to negative. That was that was um, that was an interesting um, way of presenting the prediction. Anyway, um, anyway, Hal, um, Elena, three one leads. Three nice, one, three one. I'll take that. Locks two nil, two nil leads. 2-0, 2-0. I'm still going to go 2-1 to Leeds United. Um, yeah, I guess um, before we do go, anyway, guys, are we, are we going to do the question thing? Oh, I've got a head, so I'm going to go. Okay, Elena. No worries, Elena. No worries, Hi, Elena. Well, I mean, you were late, late coming in. Um, trust me, I, it's not my fault. At least I'm here, right? I've, I've given you a good light hour. Or however long I've been here for. Bye. Thanks all. What an honour. She gave us an hour, lads. <laughs> and we should all be grateful in the chat. <laughs> I'm gonna um I'm gonna get a question question now. Yeah, I didn't oh, even yeah. think I've just I was thinking with Locks shakes his head straight away, so I'm guessing Locks has got a question there. I've got, yeah, I've got one. I um, what I'm going to do was after seeing uh, Egal's question um, the a couple of weeks oh, wow. ago, I thought that one. I thought I thought all you needed was another long question, so I've uh, brought one. Uh, it's not too long. It's just uh, they're, they're different. Uh, they're different. Well, it's the same question, but they're going to be different answers. I'm going to go around each of you, and you're all going to have a different answer because the question is: I want you to name the last goal scorer, the last Leicester goal scorer against your club, and see if you can That's, get it. It's oh, easy for piece some. Of piece of piss. RV Barnes, Bing Bang Bong, we're in. Okay, how? Yeah, Vardy, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I was going to ask Elena, but she's um, she's gone, so that would have been Vardy. Well, it uh, would have been Mourinho's you? fault, we can tell you that. <laughs> yeah. um, Corey, this, this one's going to be a bit more difficult for yeah, you. Yeah, because cause, cause we, we beat you 3-0, to... so you didn't score against us last time. Right? Yeah, yeah, Corey, season. man, Corey, I can't <laughs> cope with this. It's, <laughs> you've changed, man, so much. They, pro they probably battered us the season before, I just can't remember. Yeah, um, we did batter you. Yeah, that's why I'm yeah. bringing it up. So, <laughs> can you uh, can you remember who the last Leicester goal scorer was against West Ham? Um, it was a four-one win. Geez. Was it was it at Leicester or was it at West Ham? I think it. Yeah, it was at Leicester. Oh, was it um, Ioz Perez? It was. Yes, oh, Ioz Perez he absolutely with the ruined us. <laughs> that yes. game was shocking. Um, right, yeah, I've got a cheeky question. I've, I've got a cheeky question, but um, right, let's go for it. Let's go for it. So, three answers for this one. Three answers. So, point for each correct answer on this one. Three people have won the Champions League a record three times as manager. Who are they? Is so, uh, Tra is Trapattoni one of them? No. What about Guardiola? Oh, can, can you repeat the question, Oscar? Three people have won the Champions League three times as a manager. Who are they? 
Ancelotti. Three times or An- more. Ancelotti is one. Yeah, Ancelotti is one. Uh, what about Fabio Capello? Fabio Capello is not one. Sir Alex Ferguson. No, no. Because he's tough, man. Mm. Do, you want, do you want a clue at all? Yeah, go on. Okay, one of the... Right. The two managers left have won the Champions League three times at the same club. One of them might be in this country. Well, is in this country. The other one is in Spain. Mourinho? No. No, he's so they've, won, they've won it three times at the same club. Pep? No. Zidane? The same club. Oh, Zidane is one. Zidane is one as well. So that's a point to Hal. Point to Joe. Point to Hal. Last one on offer. They're in this club. They're in this country, the other one. Yeah, yeah. When we, are we well, talking European just Cup. champion? Oh, Emphasise on Cup. this. Emphasise on this. European Cup. Mourinho. Oh. That Liverpool. Um... Oh, God. I can't remember his name. Am I right in saying Liverpool? You might be along the right lines there. You might be along the right lines. Is it... Um... Oh, f- bloody hell. What's his name? Paisley. Yes, he's got it. Lox has got oh, it. No. Bob Paisley. Bob well Paisley is the other answer. Very, very impressive, that Lox. So, a point, point Lox, point Joe, a point Hal. I mean, mine's pretty... It's not as good as that, but... A uh, record for most consecutive appearances, 310. Name him. Gareth Barry. Barry. No. Consecutive? Yep. Petr Cech? No. Frank Lampard? No. What position does he play? Lox was in the right position. Friedel? Yeah. Oh, what an answer that is. Mm. Brad Friedel. Uh, okay, who did West Ham beat when they won the Intertoto Cup in 1990? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Corey, you, you seriously don't know this? Oh, come on. I was, I was, I was <laughs> you, you were going on the thought about how much it matters to you. Yeah, that's exactly. it. Was I didn't personally win. I was four. Oh, that I, means I, a lot. I haven't bothered to research it once <laughs> in my entire life, even though it was the last major <laughs> honour that my club won. I can't believe that. I, can't. I know who Sheffield United beat in the 1800s the last time we beat the, right. won the FA I'm Cup. Gonna go, how, I'm going to go. I'm going to go Lazio. Oh, I'll it's a really the, good guess. That one. That's a good guess. Roma? It's a good guess. Fiorentina. It's a good guess. Oh, no, he's like, he's an Italian. Napoli? Palmer. It's a good guess. It's a good guess, that. Oh, AC Milan. <laughs> it's not an Italian not, team, is it? No, it's not an Italian team. No, but oh. you've said them all. What? Can you give us a reason? Um, yeah, it's France. No. Do Leon? Marseille? No. no. Bordeaux, Ren. No, I'm amazed no one's even putting it in the chat. I thought Monaco. Corey would know it. I thought Corey <laughs> would know it like that. And I know Monaco. this. I just know this because my, my best mates are we- my best mates are West Ham fan, and he talks about this quite a lot because we're the same age. So this feels like yesterday. This in the Toto Cup final it was over two legs. The answer is you want me to tell you? Mm-hmm. Mets. Well, oh. mm. Bit of an anti-climax. That I don't know why, but it just felt like. No, you're it. right. It, it is an anti-climax, Joe. However, I had no power over which team it was that won yeah, it in no, 1999. No. Sound like a basketball team or something, don't they? Mets. But you're thinking of the word Nets. I know, but <laughs> Met, Mets also sounds like Mets. It, 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 it does. I watched Space Jam earlier today. It's still good. It stood the good test film. of time. Yeah, great good film. film. Yeah, My partner loves it, yeah. My last, yeah. Partner? Partner. My partner, Girlfriend. is that you? Are you in a sort of a legal firm? Is that what that means? Oh, no, my girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. My girlfriend. Um, and that leaves Corey to do a question. Is up. There is nothing up. There is nothing up with me. I've seen that mentioned a few times. I'm tired. I'm just going to say I'm, I'm Well, okay. I saw something about Max Bryan looks tired, yeah. but I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> really? <laughs> I, I've, got, I've had sticks tonight. How's yeah. had a bit of stick in the comments? You know, it's just part of the Got another thing at ten o'clock as well. I, oh. Go on, then, Corey, we'll, give hey, the question, yeah. and we'll we'll. Elena's off. gone. 
So we'll definitely be done before 10. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm just going to go off the top of my head. What, when was the last time Tottenham managed to win the FA Cup? I know this. 1991. Uh, I'll go with Oscar. Because <laughs> I watched the Gaza thing the other day. I'm going to go nine, 92. Yeah. I'll say ninety one as well because Oscar sounds very confident. Yeah, it's right. It's ninety one. There you right. go. There we go. There we go. Me right. and, me and Oscar won a million. You know. Me, me yeah. I, saw, I watched it. That was class. That was actually class. That video. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Isn't it? it's good. Billy, Billy the red-headed lion. Is, I still can't get over the last. I think I owe Oscar an apology. Actually, I watched it with my partner, and she went, "You need to apologise to Oscar." What for? What? Because you know when we did the Chris Wood question and I went, he yeah. scored 30 goals. Oh, and it was, and it, it, you it, went, it, I told you. And I went like, all right, we're only fucking free. And I <laughs> went, <laughs> Our last thing, Joe, you need to apologise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was, it was just, oh, it was, it was class. It was class. That, I mean, that is perfect tactical performance from Oscar and Wayman that in terms of the timing, the timing of the lifelines was just couldn't have been any better. Could not have been any better. Um, but guys, I guess we will leave it there and I just want to just echo Russ's thoughts there. Um, 100%, you know, for Peter Lorimer there. That's devastating news um, that we saw today uh, about Peter. Um, but guys, I'm going to leave it there anyway. Make sure before we go actually, um, and we all go, don't know why I just why I said just me. It's just like I'm just going to disappear off the screen. No, I'm not. We're all going in at once. Um, football prizes. Make sure you check out football yeah. prizes after this. Um, some fantastic stuff on offer. Uh, I'm just going to show you. Obviously, Lucas Mora. Uh, if any Tottenham fans are watching, uh, signed and framed, match worn footy boots from Lucas Mora, the hero of the Champions League semi final that Elena has mentioned only once or twice in this video. Um, 7.45 a ticket, 99 tickets available. The competition ends on Monday. And guys, plenty of stuff on offer at Football Prizes. Even if you're not a Leeds fan, even if you're not a Tottenham fan, if you're just a football fan in general, um, which Hal took a lot of issue with when I said that, but I think everyone knows what I mean by that. Check out Football Prizes. Plenty of stuff on offer for anyone, any football fan wanting merchandise or memorabilia. Check it out, guys. And I guess yes. we'll leave it there. I just hope football's the winner. Football is the winner. Right. We will leave it there, guys, anyway. We'll play the little jingle. Good luck to all three yeah, of you we'll and Elena this weekend. Hope you get the results that you want. And we will leave it there, guys. See you later. <laughs>